Good morning, sunshines. Tell them. No, you do it. No, you do it. You do it. Good morning. I am Quincy Scott. <clears throat> I'm doing good morning, sunshine today because my mom is busy. She just got back in town. She has a lot of things to do. So I am in charge. And I'm going to say I'm grateful for the starfish in my mouth. Show them. Show them the fish. I'm grateful for this in my mouth. I love it very much, and I'm grateful I get to do Good Morning Sunshines again because I miss them. Right? You want me to help you? I will help you. Good morning, Sunshines. Good morning, Tammy. Good morning, Tatiana. Guys, did you miss my baby? I miss my baby. I'm grateful for my babies and my family. Good morning, Karina. Good morning, Casey. How are you guys? Good morning, Keith. I know you're thinking, man, Cal, can you smile any bigger? Probably not. I'm just so excited to be here. Good morning, Rhiannon. Uh, good morning, Sunshines. Back from Colorado. Yesterday, well, I guess yesterday I was at the airport, but every other day we've been out by oceans and suns and, and warm weather. And now look out there. Yep, if you're not in Colorado. Like, I don't know if you can see how much snow is on that table of mine. Can you guys see that? Like, that's a massive amount of snow. See that? Right there. I mean, it's a, it's a good amount of inches. Anywho, so I'm grateful for being back in Colorado. You guys share good morning, sunshine, hashtag GMS as you jump online and then share with me something that you are grateful for. We practice our miracle morning together each day. Uh, good morning, Monica. How are you? By um, sharing our gratitude, of course, which is something that snaps us out of it and, it and it really grounds us in our life, right? Grounds us in what we're happy for in this moment. And it's going to be a lot of what we do in... November, I'll explain a little bit of that to you guys. Quincy wants to be in Good Morning Sunshine, but not really, you guys. He wants to throw the star down. So, sorry, maybe he'll join us for you guys. Get in a second here. Yes, now you want to be up here. Um, and then we also practice our savers, our silence, affirmation, visualization, exercise, reading, and scribing. Hi, Q. Natalie says, hi, Q. Good morning, Michelle. How are you? Um, and on Wednesdays, it's Wednesday, it's Tuesday, we focus on our affirmations. Um, and our affirmations, you guys, are um, the things that we're stepping into, right? You know, either I am confident, maybe, I am patient, I am, um, I am loving, I am abundance. And we talked a little bit about this last Friday more, uh, more in more detail, right? And, and how powerful that is. Good morning, Eve. Good morning, Denise. Good morning, Valerie. I'm curious, after Friday, has anybody been practicing? Good morning, Lewis. Has anybody been practicing what we talked about after Friday with the visioning and really creating what that life is all about? Like, just comment if you have at all, because I'll be curious to know if people are taking action upon this. And if you are, I'm excited to hear about what that does for your life. Quincy <laughs> thinks that he is so helpful with that. Okay, so um, to let me share with me one of your affirmations, and then um, let's talk about today's subject. One man's wonder is another man's whatever. Right, Quincy? One man's wonder is another man's whatever. And I got to start sharing about this very briefly yesterday. But I want to share an experience and I want to share a comment that I got after it, right? And then we'll relate it back to your life. Good morning, Edna. How are you? So um, I mentioned to you guys, right, when I was in Puerto Rico, you want to go to see your daddy or you want to just see your daddy here, daddy here, daddy here. Everybody <laughs> with you. Look at his teeth, you guys. Look at my teeth. Look at all my teeth. So, um, so my favorite experience, there were a ton of cool experiences out in Puerto Rico. My favorite experience is when we got to go see this bio illuminescent, like this bio, oh man, now I already forget what, what the words are. There's so many different words for it. But here's what happened, right? We go to this place called Mosquito Bay and you're like, oh, that sounds good. And we go at 7.30 at night when it's dark, when you know mosquitoes are going to be popping and I'm already like covered in mosquito bites. You're like, ah, like I'm not so sure about this. And we go and like, we don't know, like nobody knows where they're going, right? Like make sure like we're going to Mosquito Bay, put on your uh, mosquito repellent, but it can't have any D in it. So it needs to be like the weaker kind. I'm like, oh my God. And make sure you can wear something that you're going to get wet and you're you're like, oh, like this sounds a little sketchy, right? So that's what some people are thinking. I'm like, adventure, like let's see what this is gonna be like. So we go down, we meet this guy who puts us in a van and we have a bunch of us that get in this van and then we start driving down this road that's like like all over. There's like dips and there's bumps and we're like going through lakes practically. And then he acts like we get stuck in a park. He's like, ha ha ha, it's so funny. And I'm like, it really actually was so funny, but we really weren't stuck. Good morning, Shayna. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, Raina. I know Quincy is so cute. Did you guys miss him? I missed him a lot. So, okay, so there's this whole like adventurous part that we're going down to this place, right? And then we get there and we get out and it smells like 
ka 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 I mean really it smells like this intense like sulfur 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 strong sulfur mixed with ka 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 right and you see these kayaks so this is where the adventure is going we're going kayaking right and um you have to step out and it's all in spanish right because everybody there except for me and another guy are fluent in spanish and we're like we're trying like peek at like pick up what he's saying he's like watch out for the chocolate i'm like what is he talking about is there like cow poop we're walking through but he's like the mud is like chocolate so you walk through this like rich deep mud that like goes up to your ankles right that smells so bad and they put your kayak you're like your vests on you and then they partner up and my, my girl yolanda she's freaking amazing she's never been in a kayak in her life and we're like okay like it's dark out it smells really bad we've got our mosquito you know, we're in mosquito bay let's go kayaking like yay right <laughs> good morning Janice good morning Stephanie so we get into this boat and um, they start to explain in Spanish, so I'm still not exactly sure because he's talking about things like microorganisms which is a pretty easy Spanish word but um, and all these different things where I'm like trying to keep up with, right? So anyways, we start paddling out, you guys, and as soon as you get away from this little like crest that smells like caca, like it opens up and like it is unbelievable. Like you look up and you can see every star in the world. It's like you could reach up and touch the stars. And I'm sure there's where like places where the stars are even more miraculous than this, but it is just simply freaking amazing. I'm taking you guys there with me. Okay. So you have to imagine this, right? So you go through all this experience and you look up and it's like, Oh my gosh, there's barely any clouds that are around. There's just, there's, there's stars glory. Like, you know how here we could like, we're like Big Dipper right away, uh, Orion's Belt right away, because those are like the stars that you can see. But there you're like, I don't even know where the Big Dipper is because there's so many freaking stars. I can't even find it. It's so amazing, right? So then we're looking up and it's beautiful. And you look down as we're paddling and I'm, you know, helping the girl Yolanda behind me. Like we're like learning how to kayak. And, and we're, we're paddling and you look over at your paddle and in my paddles glowing, right? It's glowing this like blue, beautiful color. And like, wait, is that just the light bouncing off the water? You know, like how sometimes that does, but no, like my paddle is glowing, right? And then the girl behind me is like, look down and we're in glass bottom kayaks and we look down and there's all these sparkles and glitters that are green and blue and vibrant that are like whoosh, like bubbles like going through the boat as you paddle. So you see this like um, this like this uh, glowing blue like whoosh, each time you, you um, paddle a kayak and then these beautiful colors below you. And as we get out further, the colors become more vibrant and more vibrant and more vibrant, right? And then finally we have like little stops where we, we stop and he would explain to us what's going on and how this um, natural wonder it's one of the natural wonders of the world in Mosquito Bay is this bioluminescence in these microorganisms that I touched on yesterday briefly, right? Have basically, um, and I don't know because it was explained to me in Spanish and I don't really remember my like 11th grade bio um, biology, but like basically it's a process of photogenesis, right? Where they're absorbing the light throughout the day and then um, at night they drop to the bottom and as you stir them up, you're actually, it's like you're like activating them so that motion lights them up and I would dip my hand in the water, you guys, and my hand would be covered in sparkly glow. Like it was so freaking amazing, right? So we go through and we are learning about the process and you get to see like brighter colors, more vibrant colors, and you look up and there's the colors of the stars. I'm like, oh my God, this is an amazing experience. And one of my favorite things about it, you guys, is nobody could have their phone out. Like you couldn't snap shots. I shared a picture of what it would have looked like if I did have the proper camera and ways to do that because people have taken pictures, right? But you can't, you can't take a picture of this experience. You can't capture it. It's kind of like, you know how the most beautiful moon or the most beautiful like um you know like star filled sky it's that's like you can never just pull out your iphone and get a get a get the photo the photo of it you have to be there to be really in it to really experience it you know what i'm saying and and i love that part of it because everybody was so present and everybody was removed from social media and from the noise and whatever and they were just there they just got to be there and be in it right so for me one man's wonder, right? This was my one man's wonder. And it was, it was wondrous. Like I, I absolutely, I stepped away from them. Like that was, that was, that was freaking amazing. It was, it was unbelievable for me. And 
I've had other experiences in my life where it's been like, wow, I get to have this experience. And I've heard about other people creating experiences in their life where I listen and I'm like, I take myself there. Like I want to create that in my life. Like that's something, there is a story that one of the guys in our company, um, he had this incredible experience at these Iceland blue lagoons where he's like underneath the water and the water's crystal blue, right? And the waters are warm because it's a spring and as he's underneath, it starts to snow on him. And they actually do massages like why you're in this water and there's snow and it's bright and bright but vibrant and blue and warm yet cold like these things these experiences that are like wow experiences that only so many people get to do because they you have to make the effort like you have to make the choice like when we were talking about last friday to create that as a part of your vision of who you're becoming and what you're going to be able to experience based upon your your idea of abundance versus scarcity and training your ras to find the things around you that might be too much if you didn't listen to me last friday but if you did you know what i'm talking about right okay so here's the thing one man's wonder is another man's whatever. So after the trip, right, um, uh, yesterday, the day before, we're getting back in our car that we had rented for the island, and we're going to go pick up the guy. We call him Kansas because he's from Kansas. We're going to pick up Kansas, and he's, uh, you know, throwing us in the, in the car so he can take us back to the ferry so he can take us. And we had asked Kansas when we picked us up, like, how long have you been out here? And he's like, eight years. I'm like, that's awesome. You know, he's got this, like, little place. So he's, he's living the island life. He's renting some things out. Um, it's funny because his car is still set on the hour of Kansas time. He's been here for eight years and he's still like on Kansas time was cracking us up. So anyways, we're telling him, he's like, you know, Hey, did you have fun? We're like, Oh my gosh, it was amazing. So then me, I pipe up. I'm like, Oh my gosh, the mosquito bay was absolutely fantastic. And he was like, Ugh, yeah, I have to do that every time I have friends that come out here. And he's like, Wah, 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 right? My wonder of Mosquito Bay is 100% his whatever. His like FT whatever. Like, a, like a, I do not even, like not even interested. And you could tell by his attitude and his, um, his perception of that experience, it's just not something he's into. Right? And it made me think about a few different things. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Tara. Good morning, Kara. How are you guys? It made me think about a few different things. Number one, awesome. Right? If my wonder is his whatever, no problem because every single one of us are different. Good morning, Lauren. Right? And my wonder doesn't need to be Kara's wonder, doesn't need to be Tara's wonder. Not at all. But you can't say that it's not your wonder and say it's your whatever if you never give it a shot and take the experience. Because I think some people excuse the wonder and make it their whatever because they're too scared to go after it. Does that make sense? Like you're like, oh yeah, that doesn't sound like whatever, Cal, that sounds pretty cool, like whatever, Mosquito Bay, glowing water, you know, but like not for me. And it's not because it's not for you. It's because you're too scared to go after it. Or what if you do all that and you go after it and you get out there and you're like, Eh, it was just okay, right? Like that person that tells you all about the movie that's supposed to, like, supposed to be so good and you see it and you're like, well, that was kind of let down because I thought it was going to be so amazing, right? But I think number one, are you going? Come here, everybody want to see you again. Everybody want to see you again. They want to see those doofies of yours. So um, number one is that our wonders don't have to be the same, obviously, right? Like some people like, have, like think children are a wonderment. For us to be able to have babies, that's a wonder. For some people, that's a whatever. They're like, no, thank you, okay? And that's awesome. That's perfect. We're all different. So accept people for their, their difference in wonders and whatevers. It's okay that we're not all the same, okay? So there's one thing. Accept that. Number two, don't excuse the wonders in your life as whatevers because you're too scared to make them happen. Don't say, well, that doesn't seem that cool because you're just trying to be that cool to say it's not that cool because you're not willing to put in the work, the effort, the idea, the planning, the, the changing your RAS and your subconscious to create beautiful things like that in your life because you're not willing to put in the work to go and do it. Oh, Gabby misses you too. I hope it's not snowing tomorrow so we can come into the club, right? That is, I mean, it's not snowing, but like maybe not like blizzarding. Um, but otherwise Friday, right? We'll do Friday. So, so it could be, babe, 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 babe. It could be that, you know, you need an awakening because you're excusing potential experiences in your life as whatever is because you're too scared to go after them. So that's number two. And I want you to look at Dobrerano. I just have to say it every time, Martina. Th those are, I guess it's actually Dobre Notes there. Is it good night already? I don't know what time it is there. Um, so those are a couple things that I want you to look at today in terms of, thinking about the experiences that are available for you in your life 
and one accepting that it's okay if we're not all the same, but don't let yourself get out of gel in terms of like, I don't have to experience that because you don't want to put in the effort to go after it, okay? Because there are so many wonders. There are so many, I mean, that's one, that's one small experience that I gotta be a part of, right? And I would love to hear, I would love, love, love if you guys could share with me, whether you want to private message me or really if you want to be public about it, if you would share below this, what's one of your favorite wonders that you've had in your world? And I'll do a separate post too because not everybody watches Good Morning Sunshine, but like, what's one of those experiences that you're just like, oh my gosh, and maybe you don't need to do it again, you don't need to do it a hundred times, but doing that once was just something that you encourage other people to get out of their comfort zone and go do um, because for some of us like we, we I, maybe I've never thought about going to the sand dunes I've never been like thought about traveling to um, to see a pyramid I've never thought about um, learning how to surf or jumping out of a plane or something like you you just should try this once okay so what's one of your wonders if you're committed okay um, share one of your wonders and also I would like you to commit to um, realizing one of your wonders that are on your list your wonder list get it wonder lust wonder list something that you want to go for in your life okay Okay. So, good morning from snowy Colorado. Guys, say hi to Quincy. Make him laugh, Josh, so they can see his teeth. <laughs> go, you're gonna make you laugh. You're gonna make you laugh. Well, you could see your tubes. Ah, there they are. Look at all those tubes up there. I leave and I go for one day and you have tubes. My goodness. My goodness. Okay, guys, I love you all. We love you all. Say bye bye. Say bye bye to my friends. Bye-bye to my little friends. Tell me if you guys commit, yes or no. This is a new thing he does. <laughs> Daddy's right behind the, the phone. Oh God, we think it was so, oh my gosh. I wonder what it would be like to travel on a hot air balloon too. I should just sit on here and just let Quincy play and watch all your wonders. Did you guys know I can bring you on? Like, I'm going to try this sometime. Good morning, Grandma. Um, look, Aww. Grandma just wants to see you. Aww. 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 Show him. Aww. 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 Um, okay. I can bring people on. So you know what I'm gonna do? One day this week, I'm gonna have a Q&A because I learned how to actually bring people on and we can ask any questions and actually join the conversation. How cool is that? All right, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Go wonder something in the world. Hopefully you have more wonders than whatever's every day of your life. Love you, bye.